What did that do to you? I became a shell of myself. I didn't know who I was. I actually have a couple posts on my page where I was like, I have a post that says, I knew her body better than I knew my own. Stop. Let that sit there. You said you knew another woman's body better than you knew your own. Yes, several, several women. I know several, I knew several other women's bodies better than I knew my own. And um, I spent a lot of time, like I was, I, I went in such a, a deep hole where I was like studying these women. I would go to their profiles and I would study their pages and like what they wear. I knew when they were meet, when they had met up. So I've, I watched their videos of them having sex. So I would try to imitate that and recreate that in our relationships so that he could choose me and want me. And um, that is a low point to be. And I'm, I'm tearing up a little bit because that, I hate that I even got to a point where that was a thing, but that, that it was, it was just that. And so I knew several other women's bodies better than I knew my own. I lost, completely lost myself. I became a shell of myself. I tried to imitate their hair, their actions, even um, sexual things that I had seen him doing with them. I tried to recreate that in our life um, when, when we were engaged and, and none of it amounted to anything. Hello, my darling Fumi Nation. How are you? How are we? My name is Fumi De Saluvold. For those of you that are stopping by for the very first time, you guys are so very welcome indeed. A lot of you sent me this DM over and over and over again. And um, I was really happy to see Dania Jackson, to see her healthy, to see her wearing makeup, to see her hair done. And for her, you know, to be at a place now where she can comfortably be and speak in her truth. Um, I had done, and I think that is why a lot of you sent me this particular clip, because maybe about six months ago, I don't remember, Dania had said, something to the effect that we were all devils or something like that. And I'm going to link that episode below because I just saw a woman crying out for help. And a lot of you disagreed with me at the time. And I said that this is a woman who has completely lost herself. She is in panic mode. You know when you're trying to fall and you're trying to break the fall with your arms all over the place? That was where she was at. I want you to understand something. When people we love ill-treat us, we don't stop loving them. We stop loving ourselves. Especially, especially women in very challenging marriages, such as Dania's and Derek's. You can understand the dynamic. He was this big, huge guru, relationship guru, that she had a front row seat and saw all of these women follow, admire, and be in awe of. And yet, she could not get this man to love her. She thought it was her fault. A lot of women, young women, a lot, not all, that don't have experience and don't get to know who they are, are prey to these kind of men that take advantage of them because of the naivety, because they do not know any better, because they truly believe everything that predator says. That is how I look at Derek. Derek knew Dania before Dania knew who she was. And that was why it was easy to manipulate her mentally, emotionally, 
physically and you're slowly killing a person. But what I know about women is that we are extremely resilient. And every single one of us has that yardstick. And when we get to the end, that's when we get up. It shows the degree of love she had for Derek. She knew all the other women's bodies because she studied them, because she felt this was the ticket to getting Derek back. You can imagine watching your husband making love to another woman and there is no connection whatsoever of the betrayal he has done onto your marriage, onto your relationship. It went right over her head. She wanted to look at the other women because if she did what these women did, then Derek would love her. It's funny because I sat back and when I was watching her, even when she teared up a little bit, what she does not know is that Derek will come back and beg her. Because what she didn't have in the relationship is what she's beginning to show us now. And that is confidence. That was what attracted Derek. Because Derek is a narcissist. Because what attracts Derek is ego. It's nothing else. The woman that walks away that looks at him like so is the woman that he wants. She could be as unattractive as anything. He won't see that. It was the fact that he wants to dominate and she didn't give him the time of day. Dania was easy prey. Dania, as a matter of fact, was boring to him because he could tell what she was going to say, what she was going to do before he walked into the door. And he said in his mind, do I even want to deal with her now? Some men are like that. And you have to be able to detect those men. And the only way you can is through experience. Dania is going to be stronger and more powerful than ever because she's now regaining her power. I no longer feel sorry for her. Now I celebrate her. I am so happy for her that she has finally come to this stage of her life because there was a statement that she made. She said um, that she used to study the women, how they used to, how they made love to the husband. Wait, 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 hold on, because I, I have to get this right. I became a shell of myself. I didn't know who I was. I actually have a couple posts on my page where I was like, I have a post that says, I knew her body better than I knew my own. Stop. Let that sit there. You said you knew another woman's body better than you knew your own. Yes, several, several women. I know several women. I knew several other women's bodies better than I knew my own. And um, I spent a lot of time, like I was, I, I went in such a, a deep hole where I was like studying these women. I would go to their profiles and I would study their pages and like what they wear. I knew when they were meet, when they had met up. So I, I watched their videos of them having sex. So I would try to imitate that and recreate that in our relationships so that he could choose me and want me. And um, that is a low point to be. And I'm, I'm tearing up a little bit because that, I hate that I even got to a point where that was a thing, but that, that it was, it was just that. And so I knew several other women's bodies better than I knew my own. I lost, completely lost myself and became a shell of myself. I tried to imitate their hair, their actions, even um, sexual things that I had seen him doing with them. I tried to recreate that in our life um, when, when we were engaged. And, and none of it amounted to anything. What did that do to you? I... 
when they were engaged. So the whole marriage was a farce. Like I said, Derek really kissed her out. He, she would be his puppet. There are men like that. And when you find yourself in situations like that, you will have to pick yourself up mentally, starts mentally. Forget about the embarrassment, forget about the shame, forget about your in-laws, forget about your family, forget about your friends, forget about the neighborhood, forget about the church, forget about everybody and think about your life, yourself and how you are living in this moment. You're dying. Everything around you in that home is suffocating you and sucking the life out of you. And as much as you want to hold on, I've done this before, as much as you want to hold on, it's disconnected from the wall. It's disconnected. You are completely disconnected. You want to charge, you want to try hope, you want to build, there's nothing to build. But I think we as women, we love so unconditionally. We love so freely that in our head somewhere, we believe that he has to love us back and that we have to go over and above to show him how much we love him. No. We've all been there in some way, some degree. We have all been where Dania has been. That is why I started Sister to Sister. Because at 54, I've lived my life. At 54, I've seen one or two things. I've been through one or two things. And so I can really empathize. There's no need to judge because you're doing that by yourself. You come to me because we are trying to find a solution. At the very least, you can release. You can release and say, Fumi, this is what I have been carrying. I've been carrying this burden and I just need somebody to sit beside me and just listen to me. The way I saw it, the way I perceived it, the way I took it in, it wasn't that I was stupid. It wasn't that I was a fool. It wasn't that I was blind. It wasn't that I was an idiot. It wasn't that I didn't love myself. I loved him. That was it. I loved him. I loved him past the hurt he gave me. And you have to sometimes come to that crossroad where there's a switch that just goes off on that regular day, on that regular morning or afternoon where something just switches and those rose-colored lens smashes and you can see it a glimpse of what it really is. That is why we have to be patient with our sisters. That's why we have to be patient with Erica Mena and Safari. Because she's not there yet. She will get there. Her threshold of pain will come to a hit where she can no longer take it anymore. And when you get there's a sense of release, it's a sense of awareness. It becomes very clear. And you're like, oh no. Oh no, this brother has me all the way twisted. And it's an awareness. It's like you're awake. And the guy that you loved all these years begins to look smaller and smaller 
and smaller to the point that, you know, let me tell you a little story. There was a guy like that, I think I've told you. And when I look back, it wasn't love. It, 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 was, it was maybe infatuation. But the switch went off. And I saw him for what it was. It was a statement he made, a comment that he made. And I just turned around. And I think he peeped it too because I just kind of got up and walked away. Packed my things and I left. Further down, he said, I looked the most beautiful at that very moment to him. It's a sense of awareness. You begin to know who you are. And it's like shedding the skin of a moth to a butterfly. That old you does not fit into your life anymore. That old you is dead. That old you has, has gone. And everything in that old era dies with that old Fumi. You can't go back even if you wanted to. That is why when Derek does come back to plead and beg, I love you, I need you, I want this or whatever, Daniel will be so irritated. But apart from that, even where she feels sorry for him and he begs and he pleads, she will tell him, like we have told our exes, baby, even if I want to come back, I can't. I can't go back to who I was. I can't unsee what I see and know now. I feel, you literally almost feel sorry for them. But you're like, I can't go, I can't go back. That's no longer who I am. It is a journey. It is a journey. And you will get out the other end and you will be the best version of you. And that is when you start living. And this relationship, as bad as it was, for all of us, because we all have our own individual relationships, it is what liberated you. It is what grew you to become the person that your husband, your future husband and saw, your future husband saw in you and married. That was why when I was walking through the airport with Adrian, with Ula, this ex came around. And he said, I didn't recognize you. Not that I didn't look like Fumi, I did. But the Fumi that he saw, he couldn't believe. That's what relationships are. It will test you. It will break you. But the beautiful thing about us women is that we can build. Always find something inside of you to give affirmation and positivity. You are beautiful, you are strong, you are resilient, you, 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 you are resilient, you are funny, you are smart. Always speak about yourself like that. Always have the book of rules. If you want me to write it down for you, I will. Because that was how I got married. I wrote the book of rules for me and I stuck by them. The second you ill-treated me in any way, shape, or form, I was out of there. I've said it before. I got the gift of goodbye. I will go. I will go with tears running down my face. But I will go. Because these rules are there to protect me. They're to guide me. They're to encourage me. That's why I wrote them there. So if any man ill-treats you, if any man cheats on you, one time, I'm out. I am what? I am out. You can't negotiate on your book of rules. Take it to the bank. That's how valuable it is. Because the money that you have in the bank, you have it there steady, straight, calculating. The bank takes percentages because it's taking care of your money. 
This is your money. This is your investment. You keep on telling me, Fumi, you look so good for 54. Your skin, your this, your muscle tone, your all of this. It's an investment I have in me. I protect me. I have only people around me that love me and push me. I don't listen to gossip. I don't entertain gossip. I work hard. I am prayerful. I wish the best for all and one. That is how I have evolved and I have grown. Because where Derek sapped the life out of Dania, Ula planted all the seeds inside of me for me to bloom. So at 54, this is where I am, where I know there are no limitations for me. You can do anything and everything because he's liberated me. And when that happened to me, I wanted it for you. I wanted it for you. I see my sisters out here and they deserve everything. Everything. We have followed Dania's journey kind of sort of from the beginning where Derek put her beside him like some kind of statue and humiliated her in front of the world. We were there. What a growth to see her now speaking for herself and speaking her truth. She has liberated herself because she's taken her power back. For those of you in these relationships, as we speak right now, sleep on it. Pray about it. Send me messages like you do. And ask yourself, it's always one question, really and truly. Are you happy? Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification button, and I will see you guys sooner than later.